Scottish Lochs. It's the largest expanse of fresh water in Great Britain, 23 miles long, 5 miles wide, and at the northern end, 636 feet deep, making it the third deepest in Scotland. The River Leven, which we're now leaving, is the loch's only outlet, running from here into the River Clyde and from there into the Atlantic Ocean. The area is home to an abundance of wildlife, and its history is as rich as the landscape that surrounds these mysterious waters. It's a place where kings have trod and outlaws have roamed. It has inspired writers, musicians and artists for generations. Victorian era that Loch Lomond gained renown. Visitors were drawn from across the world, thanks in large part to the romantic novels of the likes of Tobias Smollett and Sir Walter Scott. Day trippers would travel here by train from Glasgow to cruise aboard large paddle steamers like the one we're passing on the left. This is the Maid of the Loch, the very last paddle steamer to be built in Britain. She was built in 19th century and early 1950s, the world's premier shipbuilding city. She represents those bygone days when she and many ships like her would sail the length of the loch filled with visitors. These ships also provided a valuable mail and transportation service to the communities. As with many steam car vehicles, mounting maintenance and running costs saw the ship retired in 1981. She now stands as a monument to both Glasgow shipbuilding and Loch Lomond's steam-powered past. Glasgow tobacco lords were able to live the lavish lifestyles of aristocrats, building European-style villas in Glasgow and the surrounding area. While millionaires today buy super yachts, their equivalent in the 1800s 
built grand country mansions for hunting and fishing, for which the land around Loch Lomond became prime real estate. As we cruise along this western shore, we'll pass just a few of these houses built by the super-rich tobacco barons, shipbuilders and merchant bankers. building we're passing on our left is Cameron House. Cameron House was built in the 18th century by the Smollett family, shipbuilders and merchants, whose most famous member was the poet and novelist Tobias Smollett. Such was the wealth and influence of the Smollett, the house has welcomed a few famous guests in its time. Former Prime Ministers Winston Churchill and Anthony Trump, as well as Empress Eugenia France, have all been as was the case with many ancestral homes of Boston, the cost of upkeep of staff and service became unsustainable for a family. It was sold in 1986, and after the extension of the issues of the original building, the Cameron House was converted into a luxury five-star hotel. The large house on the hill to the left that you may be able to spot between the trees is Ockendenon House. Ockendenon House was commissioned in 1860 by the Glasgow-based tobacco merchant George Martin and was designed by famed Scottish architect Sir Burnett. During the Second World War, the house was used as a convalescent home for American servicemen coming from the front in France. After the war, as a goodwill gesture, the house was converted into a youth hostel thanks to a generous donation from American trade unions. The house remained a youth hostel until 2012 when it was bought over and converted into a 27 bedroom private home once again. Legend has it the house marks the site of the hunting lodge of King Robert the Bruce who owned much of the land and islands on Loch Lomond. These he used as his private hunting estate introducing many of the deer and game birds to the islands in the surrounding yeah. area. Yeah. Want to get here? 